Good afternoon, hello. My name is Daniel. This is the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. You draw me on another day of almost triathlon training. Out for a lunchtime run. The weather is brilliant. I'm hoping it stays like this so I can get out on the bike tonight. Cramming this lunchtime run into a busy work day. Just got to make it happen now. No complacency. I've got quite a lot to talk about on today's video. So I'm going to get this run done and talk to you when I'm walking so I can breathe a bit more. See you there. Okay then, run done and dusted. Look at the stats on screen. I actually felt really, really good. I don't know what the pace was on that. Let's have a look. Oh, I don't know. Who knows? Does it even matter? Got some aerobic miles in. Got a run done. Felt good. Enjoyed it. That's the key. So what do I want to talk about? Well, a few days ago, we posted a video in which James Saxby and I talked about uh, his world record longest triathlon attempt. I know we've talked about it before, but specifically the fundraising element. When that video went out, I'm honest, like, those sorts of videos don't do very well numbers wise. So I was a bit like disappointed, but the comments, the messages, the donations that have come in already have absolutely blown me away. We're on like nearly 300 quid and we haven't done anything yet. So that is mega, a long way to go. But behind the scenes, I'm making some real progress talking to companies and brands that either want to be involved in the attempt or just support in general. And that's blown me away as well. And I know that those things together are gonna to make a real difference. So all good so far. Sorry, the post dude is walking towards me and I got scared. So yeah, it's going really well. Thank you very much for all watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, and messaging, all those things. Honestly, every little thing makes a big difference. And I can't wait to see where we're at in another 11 weeks time. That's not very far away at all, is it? Uh, so yeah, anyway, right, afternoon at work to tap out and then I'm hoping to get out on the bike tonight. It is, feels like it's brewing up a storm, but we will see. I'm supposed to be meeting Bike Fit Dan as well to get a camera back off him because he's done some sort of takeover yesterday, but we'll see about that as well. <laughs> there you go. Right, so I found Dan, it is the evening, I'm out on the ride. I'm just getting the brief for the handover. Dan, just just, just revisit those instructions, what happened? <laughs> Do <I> ask me? <laughs> So this is what happens with videos, they don't always get to play. The, the plan was to do two videos and yeah. then that went out the window pretty quickly. Yeah. The conditions were bad and I couldn't get a camera out and like climbing up when it's, it's patched, you need it? two hands, don't yeah, you? It's not, you? It's not as we easy. We haven't all got I mount, offered you this mount, mount. you didn't want to borrow it. No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> so, and then I did a bit about the bike, but yeah. as I was doing it, Lee turned up, yeah. so I, I was rushing it and like yeah. I missed bits. And I, so, I had what, to do it again. The key takeaway is YouTubing is more difficult than bike fitting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> It's hard. it's hard. All right, Dan, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for Dan's takeover video coming soon. Big ride. I thought he was going to have like a chilled, steady spin, but it was a big ride. It was a long awesome. ride. All right, let's spoil it. Oh, okay, I'm about halfway round tonight's ride. I'm about 15 miles in. It's about 30 miles total. The group from the club were going out and doing a social ride. Now they don't ride very socially for me at the minute. So it worked out that I was about 20 minutes ahead of them on the road, which is perfect. I've been able to ride the climbs at my own pace, which is somewhat slower than the pace they run, uh, ride them at. Feeling good. I'm gonna stop and have a banana and a, like a little biscuit bar thing. I feel like I've still got some time in hand and this is the top of the last hill. So it means that when they get here, I can join the group and then hopefully sit on, maybe contribute a little bit on the flat into the headwind on the way back because it has been a tailwind out. That'd be really nice, give me a little bit of social as well. So that's the plan. You know what'll happen though, I'll pull this banana out halfway down it and they'll turn up and I'll have to neck it and go, but we'll see. While I'm waiting for the guys, they're taking ages. I thought I'd just show you a couple of changes that have happened to this bike. This is my Enj Canyon Enduro Ace training bike. A few things different to how you've last seen it, probably. No clip-on bars. I normally always have clip-on bars on this bike. Training for triathlon is a big help. However, I don't really feel like I'm training for triathlon at the minute, so I haven't got them on. I didn't put them on after I went to Calpe. And if I'm honest, I do like this now looking like a normal bike. Like I'm not getting, you know, the same like critique I get riding in groups and so on. Or oh, you've got clip-on bars on your bike, you triathlete, etc. Well, this is different. I have just now a normal rear light on instead of the Garmin Varia rear light. No real reason other than I just took that away and not the Varia and haven't swapped them back around yet. I will probably put the Varia back on very soon. I've got an NRG wax training chain because this is a training bike. And this has an 11.30 cassette on the back now. I used to run 11.34 and 11.32. I just went out after the place the cassette. They, uh, they were so much more expensive than the 11 to 30. I think it was like double the price. So I regret it now, of course, but I just bought the 11 to 30. There's been a few times where I've been like, mm, I want another gear, but so be it. 
Uh, the front crank set is one of the recall cranks that Shimano issued a recall for. I haven't taken it into a shop yet and had it looked at. Lizard's crank is the same as that as well. I just don't want to be without the crank for five or six weeks. I wish I'd done it over winter, but just didn't really think about it. Um, relatively new GP5000 clinchers. And I think that is about it. My bottle, before you all hate on me, is on that rear cage because when I put them in the front one, for some reason there's like a little clicking noise at the minute. I think it's the DI2 battery that's moving around a little bit. And sometimes it's like the drink runs off and it sits under there and then it just clicks because it's sticky. So I'm gonna have to deal with the aesthetics of it not looking like a proper cyclist. But other than that, that is it. The rear mech is changing intermittently at the minute. I think there's a loose connection somewhere, perhaps in that battery actually, those two issues linked together. I just can't even bother with taking it to bits. So like I'll hit the shifter about four or five times before I get a gear, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I've got time to wait, it's not a problem. Anyway, I'm sure that's not far away. So I'm gonna get a peddler with them very shortly. Right, the guys are here. I've just slipped off the front on a descent. Uh, got some devastating news. They're going up the hill to Kreich. Nightmare. But I hope they're not turned off there. They turn off there. Hmm. Ah! I went the wrong way. We are doing one more climb. I'm about 30 seconds down. Going onto it. No chance. Ah! Come on. Whew. Let's push. Go on, Sim. <laughs> All right, back home now, ride and understood. I'll leave the stats on screen. I never actually ended up reconnecting with the guys. We, up the climb to Christ, there's like a little out and back on a hairpin, which nobody goes around it because you're going straight up the hill. Anyway, the guys did, I didn't. And we just missed each other at that point. And I was, I was like pushing pretty hard all the way up the hill into Kreich and they were behind me somewhere. So, and they didn't actually reel me in. So I'm gonna take some positivity from that. So how did that ride go? Well, it was really steady up to that point, but then I, because I was thinking I was just chasing the guys, I kept pushing and pushing. I was looking at the stats now. I did about 40 minutes and normalized about 320 watts. And there was a peak of like, I did five minutes at 390 and 10 or 12 minutes at something like 385. So I'm really happy with that actually. I felt really good. And I felt like I was able to push on and then ease off a little bit and recover and push on again. And I haven't felt like that for a long time. So I'm gonna take that positivity from it. And then after I've gone up the hill and done a bit of like rolling sections again, I was feeling like I could kick on at the rolling sections. Now it's not translating to much pace at the minute. That climb up to Crouch, I did it about, it's about, I think it's 11 or 12 minutes. I did it three minutes slower than my PB and did very similar power to my PB. So I, yeah, got a lot of work to do, but that was really good to get out. Two hours uh, on the board, a good ride. I'm hoping that's not like hurt me too much for tomorrow's training because I, I'm trying to do more easier stuff at the minute and then just little bits of intensity. We're trying to really increase that gradually, but times like this today, sometimes you, you don't end up doing what's planned, but um, I'm, I'm hopeful that's, that's okay. And I think tomorrow, <clears throat> I think tomorrow's just a ride day. As you can probably tell, I'm juggling my training around at the minute daily based on how I feel. I feel I've recovered. I've got a whole plan in for the week, but in terms of what days I do the training, because I have quite a bit of flexibility, I can just move it around as and when. So really enjoying that part. Hope your training is going well. Uh, please hit like and subscribe and all of that stuff. And I will see you tomorrow at one o'clock for some more nearly triathlon training. Been a good day today. See you later.